Hey guys, I got a something. I got something a little different for you today. All right, I think you might enjoy this. All right, I'll call this another day at the office. What I'm actually doing is I'm pimping off my buddy who has amazing machining skills. I want to show you what he does on a daily basis. All kinds of kinky, cool shit, right? And, and uh, as a pimp, I'd say he's a good hoe. You understand? Let me start with this. He just dropped this on my desk today. I figured I'd showcase it as one of the many things he does. Let me go over here. You see it says over here, Custom carburetor adapters for racing chainsaws. What does that mean? Well, there's this group of guys that compete in woodcutting uh, competition. And what they do is they, they want to put, or they, they put in bigger carburetors on their chainsaws so that the so that the chainsaws got big balls, and they can they can uh, compete in a competition. That's enough background. Let me just give you a couple of visuals. You see this? Let's look at the left. I'm showing two sides to the adapter. You can see one side's flipped over. On the right, I'm showing them side by side. They look like twins. Material, 70, 75 aluminum. Right? For aluminum, it's got a lot of balls. Nice strength. All right, let me go down a little more. I'm showing over here on the left the adapter. You can see where the mouse is in his hand. There's an angle there. You see the angle? Right? For whatever reason. <laughs> Let's look to the right. All right, I'm showing it. He's in a toolmaker's vice, and he's got. Look at the text. He's got a toolmaker's button. I call it a ball pin locator. But we know one thing: the stem on that ball and that ball are geometrically first class. They're not, and, and we use. He's using that as a datum point. He's doing his measuring from there for tipping things up and, you know, all of that. But everything is located from that black ball, all right? All right now I'm going to go down just a little bit and I'm going to show you some other shit. But first of all, I'm going to tell you who he is. You see this? It says, and I'm going to leave this up here. This is Apple Machine and Tool Company. Right? All his information is there in case you wanted to consult with him or ask questions or exchange. He has, he he's made so many fucking things that are up on the satellites below in the ocean. This guy's, he has no limits. Right? So anyways, basically what this is is I'm pimping them off. You got something that's a little kinky? You're a little afraid of it? Give this guy a call. See what it says? Moonshot quality, down-to-earth prices. And that's a fact, Jack. Let me get this up. Here's another stupid fucking thing he made. I have no idea what it's for, but I know one thing. It's pretty. All the shit he makes is pretty. And on the money. All right, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Wait a minute, stop right here. I'm sorry, I get interrupted. I had a uh, 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 an important phone call I had to take. I think this is where I left off. I'm showing you a typical whatever that he makes. Everything he makes looks beautiful. You understand? Now I'm going to take you and show you these parts. 
on a rotary table, spun and put together, this will impress you. All right? Hang in there. Okay. I'm showing you the pot flipped over. You know, two pots, you know, on opposite sides. Obviously, the material is 70, 75 aluminum, right? Good high-strength aluminum. Just wanted you to see what it looks like, right? Nice, clean-looking work. Now I'm showing you two pieces put together. Both angles match each other. You take a hard look at this. See how nice this thing matches, right? Just want you to understand this kind of work doesn't happen by itself. Takes a lot of thinking, a lot of planning, and guess what? A lot of skill. We're going to give you another view of this looking at the side of it. All right? Come on, you dummy. Flip over. See it? See the match along the angle? Isn't that kick ass? All right? Nice looking product, right? That's my main man. All right, just letting you see what it looks like. Amen, brother. Something I forgot to mention. John work. John has design skills. He's designed many things for many people. He works with people like Woods Hole Oceanographic. Who we, uh, we live down the Cape Cod. There's a lot of companies that put wacky things in the ocean to measure X, Y, and Z. He helps them with the design. He builds by their design, and sometimes they he builds by his own design. But this guy has got his shit together, right? And what I'm saying is, if you want to consult with him or have him design something or make something that's a little wonky, here it is. Take a screenshot. Don't be afraid to call. All right? It ain't going to cost you a dime. All right? So hang on. And here's, here's, here's the whole thing. All right? As usual. Thanks for watching. All right? You have a great day.